Hi guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds. We're back with Money Moves brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service. So last week we were looking at intellectual property and we still had a lot more questions to unpack. We're joined again by Lily Claire Bellamy. She's Executive Director of the Jamaica Intellectual Property Office, JIPO. So Lily Claire, last week you told us about the benefits of having a trademark, the purposes of it. And so I'm sold. I want to copyright some stuff, trademark some stuff, but how do I go about doing that? What's the process? Okay, well, the copyright is automatic. Once you've created your work and it's in a tangible form, the copyright automatically comes into existence. We encourage persons, however, for the purposes of evidence, to put a copy of the work that they have produced that has their name on it, the date they created it, and the copyright symbol, mm -hmm. which is the letter C with a circle around it, or write out the word copyright, C-O-P-Y-R-I-G-H-T. Mm -hmm. Put that in an envelope and send it to yourself by registered mail. Oh. When it comes back, though, you keep the envelope sealed. You also have the option of coming to JIPO and giving us a copy of your work, and we will give you a certificate. The certificate will describe the work and the date that you brought it to us. We'll keep a soft copy of that for you. And the fees are quite inexpensive. It ranges from about 500 Jamaican dollars, depending on the amount of works that you have. But you could come to our office and someone will walk you through the process, or you could visit our website, www.jipo.gov.jm, and you will see all the fees explained there. For trademark, we would encourage you to come into our office. You could speak with one of our members of staff who will guide you through the TM1, mm -hmm. TM being short trademark. for trademark, right. the form number one, which is the form that you would fill out to make the application. Um, the fee to get a trademark registered in one category is the total fee is 17800 you pay 7800 at the start of the process and then we invite you in after we have done the necessary preliminary searches and stuff. If you're going to be granted your trademark, you come in and you pay the balance of fees, which is $10,000. So in all, you pay less than $20,000 and you have your trademark. If it's accepted, you have it for 10 years and oh. you can renew it for a further 10 years. We also encourage you if you are unable to come in or if you have several trademarks or if you need even more detailed guidance, you could go to an attorney at law who practices intellectual property law or who is aware of intellectual property law to guide you through the process of filling out. The other thing we encourage persons to do is to do a search. You can request a search from the office. You fill out the form. You make the to make sure you're not trying to trademark something that's already trademarked. Exactly. And mm. so you pay 2200 for each area that you want to protect. And if you come in, we'll guide you through the areas. And it's important for you, I think, to do that preliminary search rather than making the application and then being denied your trademark because, well, unfortunately, we can't return the money you to you. You don't get back your, your no. $17,000. No, you don't. <laughs> so we encourage you to do the preliminary search and then you can modify if what you are seeking to protect is not available. Right. Then we can guide you in that process. You spoke about sending a, a letter to yourself, registered mail letter, but in this digital era now, can I just send an email to myself? Or what if I have a TV show and I post it on YouTube? Does that count as registering my copy or making people know that this is my copy copyright? Copyright. Well, unfortunately, the good thing about the registered mail is, and for younger persons, they've probably never received a Physical registered letter. slip or right. seen. When you get that envelope, there's, it has a line drawn on it and it has a stamp from the postmaster which is a bit difficult to replicate. Unfortunately, we have ways of manipulating. Email. Exactly. And digital so stuff. the system of the registered mail is not only used in Jamaica, it's using most common law jurisdictions. They use that registered mail system. And in fact, just recently, um, I learned that in Canada, what they also encourage you to do, in addition to putting in a copy of your work, is to Let's say we're, 
we did something on the 2nd of April. You cut out the heading from a newspaper of the 2nd of April. So it shows that really this was the 2nd of April that I did this work. And you stick that in the envelope and send it to yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's not just you writing April 2nd, 2019. You also have that banner from the newspaper that shows April 2nd, 2019. Even more evidence because what you're trying to get to you know is it's not proof that you created the work. What you're saying is that you created it on that, that date because the date. time becomes critical mm -hmm. because the copyright starts to run from the date you created it. So if somebody is claiming that they did a work on the 5th of April, then you did yours on the 2nd of April. So you are before them. Right. So the suggestion could be made that, yeah, but I created mine first. And you were my friend. You were there when I was doing it. Perhaps you borrowed it without my permission. So it's best to do, which is why we also say to you, come to JIPO and we give you a certificate. So you have different layers of evidence of that protection. can assist. Yes. Enforcement is another matter though. <laughs> That's it for this edition of Money Moves, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's business advisory service. And you can check out their website, EximBankJA.com. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Until next week.